Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see problems which are based on exponential decay or exponential growth using differential equations. So let us start with problem number 1. Bacteria multiply at the rate proportional to the numbers present. If the original number n doubles in 3 hours, find in how many hours the number of the bacteria will be 4n. They have told you that the increase in number of bacteria is proportional to the original number. It is but obvious that if I say at starting there are 100 bacteria and in the second we have 10,000 bacteria, the rate of growth will be in the second case only. As the number of bacteria are more, there the rate of growth will be also more. So they have given you the same information. Now two things that we are supposed to assume is that the number of bacteria at any time t. So let us assume that there are x number of bacteria at any time t. Now let us use this first equation in order to get the differential equation. Bacteria multiply at the rate of proportional. So change in number of bacteria with respect to time. Change in number of bacteria that will be dx. With respect to time that will be dt. Is directly proportional to the number of bacteria present. Number of bacteria we have assumed that it is x. So dx by dt is directly proportional to x. Now removing this proportionality sign we should give the constant of proportionality. Therefore, let us assume that constant as k and dx by dt will be equal to kx. Now remember, whenever there is growth, we will write plus k and whenever there is decay or less, we will write minus k. After that, we can separate the variables, solve it using variable separable form and get the general equation. On separating variables, we have dx by x is equal to k dt and let us integrate on both sides so we will get log x is equal to kt plus c so this is our first equation now let us use these conditions in order to get the values of constant and k for that first condition is given as if the original number n doubles in 3 hours so the original number was n original number means it is a starting number of bacteria and for that we can take the value of time as 0 as from that time we are going to start the process so when time is 0 number of bacteria that is x will be equal to n let us use this value in the above equation and get the value of first constant so x will become n that will give you log n Value of t is 0, so k into 0 will be 0 only plus c. So c is equal to log n. Now substitute the value of c in the above equation. Therefore, we have log x is equal to kt plus log n. The second information says the original number n doubles in 3 hours. The initial time was 0, at that time, number of bacteria was n. After 3 hours, when t is 3 hours, the number of bacteria is doubled. Previous it was n, so now it will be 2n. If I say previous it was 100, now the double will be 200. Similarly, the previous it was n, its double will be 2n. Let us use this condition to get the value of second constant that is k. When time is 3 hours, number of bacteria x will be equal to 2n. By solving this equation, we will find the value of k. Taking n on the left hand side, we have log 2n minus log n is equal to 3k. Log a minus log b will give you log a by b. Where n will be cancelled, 3 will be divided and the value of k will be 1 by 3 log 2. Again, we will substitute the value of k in the above equation. So this will give you log x is equal to the value of k is 1 by 3 log 2 into t as it is plus log n. 
Now let us use the last condition to find the answer. In how many hours the number of bacteria will be 4n. So they have asked you the value of time when the number of bacteria that is x will be equal to 4n. We are going to substitute x as 4n and for that we will find the value of t. Again taking log n on the left hand side, we have log 4n minus log n that will give you log 4n upon n. Here n will be cancelled. And we have 1 by 3 log 2 into t. t into 1 by 3 will give you t by 3. Therefore, we have log 4 as log 2 into t by 3. Now, we can convert log 4 in terms of log 2. As log 4 can be written as log 2 square and using the property log a to m we can write it as 2 log 2. Here log 2 will be cancelled. We have 2 is equal to t by 3. 3 will be multiplied. Therefore, t will be equal to 6 hours. So, the number of bacteria will be 4n only when the time is 6 hours. This is our final answer. I hope friends you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.